The fighters of the 82nd separate Bukovina Airborne Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine liquidated Russian Marines in the Kursk region of Russia. It is known that these Russian criminals had previously executed Ukrainian soldiers. In a commentary for Channel 24, military expert, pilot instructor and retired colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Roman Sivitan analyzed the actions of the Russians in the Pokrovsk direction. According to him, more than one brigade of Russian Marines has already been exposed in genocidal actions, demonstrating photos and videos confirming these actions. These are war crimes with no statute of limitations. It was the 155th Brigade that was noticed in the executions and abuse of Ukrainian prisoners of war. Now they are really having a black day said Roman Svitan. However, they will have this black day until the end of their existence. They will no longer be able to surrender. The military expert added, Recall a group of Russian troops whose brigade has been accused of war crimes, has been destroyed by Ukrainian forces. It has been reported, prompting family members of the casualties to express their distress and anger on social media. During the war started by Russian President Vladimir Putin, Russia's 155th Marine Brigade of the Pacific Fleet has faced accusations of similarly executing Ukrainian prisoners. On October the 10th, personnel from the brigade overran Ukrainian drone operators in the west of the Kursk Oblast where Kiev's forces have staged an incursion since August the 6th, reportedly seizing hundreds of square miles of territory. In an incident that has sparked international outrage, Kiev says drone footage shows the nine captured Ukrainians being stripped, ordered to lie down and shot. Ukraine's 95th Airborne Assault Brigade in the Kursk region, the enemy suffered significant losses in a battle with Ukrainian paratroopers. October the 16th was a black day in my life for me wrote the woman next to an image she said was of the 155th motorized rifle brigade third battalion fourth company third platoon it was captioned ekaterina badugo remember these faces the post added describing them as heroes who repelled a ukrainian attack near the village of sudza which kiev's forces have captured they all gave their lives for you and me my husband, who is in the lower left corner, among others. I will be proud of you for the rest of my life. I promise. The VK Post added, The post had received over 2,000 views and a number of comments, including one that read, When will it end? Our poor men. Another urged Russians to just leave Ukrainian territory and no one will die at all. Roman Sivitan noted that the first units of North Korean troops will definitely enter the combat contact line in Kursk, since they have been undergoing training for a long time. This is mainly the command staff for deployment to the combat contact line. Then there will be a return back to continue training our personnel, these thousands who may appear on our front in some time, noted Sivitan. I think that they will be closely watched now so as not to give them the opportunity to complete the training of personnel. They will have to be destroyed. The mechanisms exist, the military expert emphasized. Russians remain motivated to fight in Ukraine despite their army's huge losses. Experts believe that financial incentives play a key role, The Guardian reports. The publication shared that Russian losses in the war in Ukraine amount to 115,000 killed and 500,000 wounded soldiers based on Western estimates. These figures are 10 times higher than the USSR's losses in the war in Afghanistan. Even this does not make Russians change their views on the war in Ukraine, The Guardian notes. The article says that Russia manages to regularly replenish the ranks of its army, recruiting up to 30,000 new soldiers per month. About the same number of Russian soldiers leave the battlefield, which allows the Russian Federation to carry out rotations. The publication emphasized that in some regions, Russians receive an advance payment of up to 3 million rubles for signing a contract with the army. In addition, the minimum salary of a military man is more than 200,000 rubles, which is about four times higher than the average salary in Russia. The Guardian added that, according to the Ukrainian Research Center, Open Minds, 
After the Ukrainian armed forces broke through the enemy's defenses and entered the Kursk region in the summer of 2024, the number of advertisements for recruiting military personnel into the Russian army increased by 224%. Also in August of this year, the number of internet queries about military contracts in the Russian Federation increased by 66%. A former employee of the Russian Defense Ministry who wished to remain anonymous said that Russian generals do not care about the number of victims. According to him, fulfilling the demands of Russian leader Vladimir Putin is more important. For Russia, the end justifies the means, he added. Dina Kapayeva, a professor of Russia at the Georgia Institute of Technology in the U.S., told The Guardian that the value of life in Russia has noticeably declined under Putin. She also mentioned the speech the Russian leader gave to the mothers of fallen soldiers in which the dictator praised the deaths of their children. Putin is offering Russians the joy of death, Kapayeva said. The publication drew attention to the fact that the Russians are directing most of their resources to exhausting the Ukrainian forces and exposing their positions. Despite the huge losses, this tactic may work, as evidenced by the breakthrough of the Russian army in the Avdiivka, Bakhmut and Vuladar.